Kuzu Zangpula. Welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. I'm Karma Tenzin, teacher in Dikining Middle Secondary School, Sarwang Zonghar. Okay, children. In your last lesson, you have learned about non-cordilaterals and cordilaterals. Can you name some of the cordilaterals? Rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and kite. Okay. Non quadrilaterals circle, triangle. Yes. Okay, today we look at 3D sheet. And the topic I will not say now. I'll make you guess, okay? Look, here I have a 3D sheet. The base of this shape is a square. And you can see there are triangles all around this shape. And these triangles connect the base square to the top vertex. And such shape is called pyramid. A pyramid has one polygon base and triangle faces that connects the base to its vertex. A pyramid is named by the shape of its base. Let's look at different types of pyramid. Here, I have a pyramid here. You can clearly see here, the base of this pyramid is triangle. And then there are triangles connecting the base to the top vertex. Can you see? So this pyramid is called triangle base pyramid. A triangle base pyramid has four faces. You can clearly see the base is a triangle and the base is connected by three triangles to the vertex. So in total, there are four faces. Now let's take an example. Here, I have a shape that is 3D. And you can clearly see the base here. The base is square. So, based on the base of this pyramid, you can call this pyramid as square base pyramid. It has five faces, four triangular faces and one square face. In total, it has five faces. Again, let's take an example. Here, I have a pyramid. You can look at the base of this pyramid. It has rectangle base and then the name of the pyramid is definitely rectangle base pyramid. And it has five faces. Let's take another example. This time, I have a little different. This is the pyramid. Now, look at the base of this pyramid. The base is pentagon. And all 
around the Pentagon, you can see the triangles connecting the base Pentagon to its top vertex. So, the name of this pyramid is Pentagon Base Pyramid. Okay? And this pyramid, it has six faces. One pentagon base at the bottom and five triangle faces all around the pentagon. So in total, it has six faces. Now you all know about the pyramid. Okay then, let's look at how to make pyramid. To make pyramid, we need a net. We need a net. So, look here. This is a net. This is a net. You can see a square in the middle. And you have four triangles around this square. This is a 2D shape. This is a 2D shape. You see, this 2D shape, okay, this 2D shape, if we fold all the triangles that is around the square, it will give you a pyramid. Right? So, in a simple word, a net is 2D shape that can be folded to make a 3D shape. And each part of the net represents a face of the shape. Now, before we go to next topic, I would like to remind you that 3D shape does not at all depend on only a single net. It can have two or it can have three. Let's take an example. I have a net here. It has square in the center and then it has triangles all around the square. On the other hand, I have another net here. In this net, you can see a square and then triangles joined at the adjacent sides. When you look at these two nets, it appears entirely different. But then, can you guess which pyramid would we get out of this net? Look at this net and look at this net. That is square base pyramid. Okay? Now, let's go to another 3D shape. Look, I have a shape here. A 3D shape. Here, you can see triangles, two triangles. You have one triangle here and then the other one here. These two triangles are being connected by rectangles. So, such shape are called prism. In a simple word, a prism is a 3D shape which has congruent polygon faces called bases. The bases are connected by rectangles. Okay? 
In pyramid, the base is, are, the base is connected by triangles. In prism, the bases are connected by rectangles. As pyramid is named by the shape of its base, a prism is also named by the shape of its base. Now let's look at another example. You see, in this shape, all the sides are equal. And you can clearly see that sides are square. So, this prism is called square base prism. You can also call it as cube. Now look at this shape. This is rectangle base prism. And you can call it as cuboid. Let's take another example here. This time little different. Okay, children, see this sheet here, here, here. These are all 3D shapes. And the common thing is, you can see pentagon in all the shapes. So, you can see that the name of this shape is called Pentagon base prism. Simple. Okay, let's go further, right? This time we'll take hexagon as their basis. In this shape, you can see hexagons. So definitely the prism is called hexagon base prism. Okay? Now, let's look at net of the prism. As we have looked in pyramid, similarly, we have net for prism. Once again, let me repeat the definition of a net. A net is a 2D shape that can be folded to make a 3D shape. And each part of the net represents a face of a shape. A very, very simple net here. Look at the net. You can see triangle are being connected by rectangle. So by looking at the triangle, you can say that this net is for triangle base prism. Okay. Let's see another. This is very, very simple net. All the faces are rectangle. So, I'm sure now you know which prism would we get out of this net. That is rectangular base prism or rectangle base prism. Let's go further. We have another net here. You can see the pentagon there. There are two pentagons here. And then it's being connected by rectangles. So by looking at the pentagon, you can see that this net is for pentagon base prism. Okay? Now, in pyramid, we have seen different net 
for a same 3D shape, isn't it? So, in case of prism, don't you think that we have different net for the same prism? Yes, definitely, we have. Look at this net, and then this net. They appear different, but when you fold this net, you will get the same prism, that is, pentagon base prism. Okay? We have gone through pyramid and then prism. Are they same? No. Okay. Let's look at the differences and the similarities of pyramid and prism. Pyramid has one polygonal base. Prism has two polygonal bases. Pyramid has triangular faces. Prism has rectangular faces. So these are the very important differences between pyramid and prism. Now, let's look at the similarities. Both pyramid and prism are 3D shapes. Very simple, right? Second thing, both must have polygonal face. They can't have curved face or circular face. Okay, now we have done with differences and the similarities of pyramid and prism. Let's see the nets again. I have a net here. Okay. Which prism or pyramid would you get out of this net? And I have another here. Okay. Which pyramid or prism will you get out of this net? Okay. This is square base pyramid. And this one, since you can see hexagon, definitely you would say hexagon base prism. Okay. Let's take another. This time, a very, very beautiful one, different one. By looking at the square, you can make out that this is also a square base pyramid. Okay, let's take another then. In the center, you can see pentagon. By looking at the pentagon, I know you will say this is pentagon base pyramid. Okay, let's take more challenging shape, okay? Let's have another. See. Star? Is it star? No, right? It's just a net. Okay. So which prism or pyramid will you get out of this? You can find out, right? I will leave this for you to find out. Okay, now let's again go a little further and discuss some points that's very, very important about the 3D shape. Very important, I said, right? You shouldn't forget that. It's very important. Okay, I have a shape here. This is a prism. 
you know, we can always cut 3D shape into two equal halves. So, when you cut 3D shape, you will get an imaginary surface. Or that imaginary surface makes this shape into two equal halves. And then that imaginary surface which is exposed out of the cut, that imaginary surface is called plane of symmetry. In a simple word, the imaginary surface that cuts 3D shape like this into two congruent matching halves is called a plane of symmetry. You will understand more when we take more examples. Okay, let's take another. Okay. Okay. Let's take a cylinder. You know cylinder? Okay, let's take a cylinder here. Now, let's cut the cylinder horizontally. Okay, done? When you cut this cylinder horizontally, you get a circular shape. And then the surface of this circular shape that we get after cutting the cylinder, this is called plane of symmetry. Okay, let's take the same shape, but the different cut this time. Let's have the cylinder here. This time, we'll cut vertically. So let's cut it vertically. The cut surface shows rectangular surface and this rectangular surface is called plane of symmetry now we have another term let's take an example here let's take a shape this time we'll take pyramid right okay i have a pyramid here Now, let's cut it horizontally. There, you can find a hexagonal shape. When you cut this pyramid, you'll get hexagonal cut surface. This time, we are not going to see the surface. This time, we are going to take note of the 2D shape out of the cut surface okay in this case you have hexagonal cut surface and the outer part the outer part of this hexagon is called cross section in a simple word when you make a straight cut through a 3d shape the 2D shape of the cut surface that is exposed is called cross section. Let's take another example. Let's take hexagon base prism. This time, you cut it vertically. When you cut Vertically, you get rectangle shape, right? And then this rectangle shape, the outer part of this rectangle is called cross section. And this is the cross section of hexagon base prism when you cut it vertically. Let's take the same shape but different cut this time. In the same shape, you cut 
horizontally there the shape of the cross section will give you the shape of the base so hexagon is the shape of the cross section here let's recall what we have learned in this lesson at first we have learned about pyramid a pyramid has one polygon base and triangle faces that connect the base to its top vertex second we have learned about prism a prism has two congruent polygon faces called bases the bases are connected by rectangles third we have learned the nets a net is a 2d shape that can be folded to make a 3d shape each part of the net represents a face of the sea next we have gone through the plane of symmetry in a simple word the imaginary surface that cuts a 3d shape into congruent matching halves is called a plane of symmetry and then the other one is was that uh okay cross section right cross section is 2d shape of the cut surface i repeat 2d shape of the cut surface of the 3d shape that is exposed is called a cross section okay before we close our lesson i have something for you that is exercise okay and exercise now think of a cone think of a cone and try to find out the similarities and differences with prism and pyramid i repeat think of a cone and find out the differences and similarities to that of the prism and pyramid okay so that's all for today's lesson see you in the next lesson thank you